Okay, this is Reviewer Magazine. Reviewer Magazine, we're here with Happy Ron. And Happy Man. Happy Ron, yeah, and, and he's got his new CD called uh, Happy Ron, Terribly Happy. Terribly Happy. I hope you folks can uh, hear me past the uh, background noise here. We're at the, the radio room, which used to be the Zombie Lounge, which was the, the masthead. Have you been to our website, ReviewerMagazine.com? I have. That image on the, the index page, when you first click on right now, well, is what this place used to be. Oh, it's the really? outside, yeah. So now it's look, look, looking different. So there's a strong review of magazine connection to this place. Yeah, well, you might say. I, I, I only came here tonight because I got a hot looking bartender now. Well, that's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah. She that's was pretty good looking. Yeah, we're staying for the bartender. Bartender, bartender, will you marry me? I'm not drunk enough to that's, sing that song. <laughs> that's, that's one of your songs from your that's, new CD. That's the closing song of my, of my album. Okay. Oh, bartender, bartender. That's the end of the night song, huh? That's the end of the night. It ends this album. The album starts off sounding very sweet and innocent, kind of like a Beach Boys thing. Uh -huh. and then, but some of the lyrics are a little strange. And then by the end of the album, you're just drunk singing, you know, asking the bartender to marry you and saying, uh, and at the end it goes, oh, baby, don't call the cops, baby. And that's how the album ends. Drunken, drunken satire, drunken parody of... You know, that's, that's one reason you said you've got a, a little bit of a connection to Gregory Page and Steve Poles. And I can, I can see that Steve Poles would appreciate that kind of humor. He's, he sort of has that style, too. Steve Poles, for the people in the national market that are watching this, was in a, a band called The Rugburns. And he's really big now. He tours all over the country, and people know of him. You can probably find him on. Oh, Jules, right. That's right. That's right. He fucked oh. Jules. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's right. <laughs> he, he gave Jules a big start. He, he taught. He gave her a big start. But um, he taught her how to uh, <laughs> how to, how to oh, songwrite. Don't get mad at yeah, me, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. It's even said it, not yeah, me. Steve, yeah, this, this is reviewer Rob's talking right now, Steve. Sorry about that. <laughs> but um, anyways, we don't have a whole lot of time, so I just want to get into what, what's going on with Happy Ron here. He's doing a. Uh, a show for a CD review, I mean a CD party, uh, oh, CD release party on when? When, when and where would we? October 25th, the last Saturday of the month at Channel 1225. The, the Long Trousers, which are an internet sensation band, are going to open for me. They play on my album. Okay. And Captain Beaks, Robin Hinkle, the Smart Brothers. Um, 22 people on my album, they always get mad at me because I can never remember. Rob Barbo from Sweet Tooth plays drums on the album. I can't remember all of them because there's 22 people, including me. Cool, cool. And um, let's see now. When when did what did uh, Gregory Page say about your music? Gregory, he, Gregory just heard my album for the first time a couple days ago, and, and I said, "Oh, I'm glad you liked it. He was so happy. I loved it." And for, for Gregory Page to say something like that is awesome. He's, he's great. Him, he's him, and Frank Drennan were doing a band called uh, uh, the Hatcher Brothers for a while, and they, I was a big fan of their music. So yeah. That's, that's quite a I quite put a out two reference. albums a year. I put out one album in 44 years. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, he's hard working. But um, yeah, we're looking forward to reviewing it. We're really running out of time here. So give us your MySpace real quick. Happy Ron. MySpace.com, Happy Ron. YouTube, Happy Ron. HappyRon.com. Perfect. Thank you, Ron. Thank you.